if I keep on coming to school, then like, but let's say when I'm older, then I can live like a good job because what, what I learned. You can have a laugh as well as you're learning as well. Please come to school because like, otherwise I'm not going to do well for myself. People that attend school um, get better grades. Um, I'll, I'll find that um, school is actually cool. <laughs> a split between schoolwork and activities that you can always have fun in. So you get to enjoy both. Like learning how to play instruments and things such as like drama. I like doing like the acting and the stuff. We do fun things and stuff, yeah. Dance, all of those that they do after school and then it basically just makes coming to school more worthwhile and fun. I find it actually quite interesting. You learn about actually doing it. Like when we do like practical stuff, that's why I enjoy it. Enjoyment, your friends. Friends. Same friends. Learning. Being with your friends in lessons is what makes it more enjoyable. I have friends in that class. I come to school obviously to learn, but the social life is good as well, because if I didn't have one in school, then I wouldn't want to come to school because I'd be on my own. So much happens here. You learn so much, you know, about yourself, about friendship, about things like that, as well as lessons. It also helps you with social skills as yeah. well. You get to interact with new people. Meet new people. Got loads of friends. Friends, gossip, everything. Come, like, everything. School's really like home. Their class is like a family to them because they're, they're here all day, aren't they? More than at home. How to live with one another, experience different cultures. You get to make new friends and help others out. Actually, it's not just about their, their academic achievements, their GCC results. It's actually about their social relationships as well. You get an education and you'll get a good job when you're older. Get good grades. Good achievement. School's cool, yeah, stay in school and like learn and get a good job and like do whatever you want. Schools give you that, that little bit of spark you need just to take that extra step further if need be. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm learning, I'm getting like information here that I need to pass my GCSEs. Develop an understanding what the real world might be like. The less you come into school, the, it's like the decrease of your future career. The ability to understand what was outside or was after year 11 and what skills I would need. Basically just sets out a standard for later life. It's going to help you later on no matter yeah. what, so it's better to be the lesson and show you're there than to just stay outside doing nothing that's going to help you. If that happens, how am I spent to get the grades that, that I want to get? If you don't learn, you're going to sit on your bum all day. Because everyone is different and every, everyone's got a different learning style and not everyone can adapt to what teachers set out. How you speak to a child, it matters. You know, if, if you shout at someone, they're obviously it's going to get their, their back up, but if you speak to someone nicely and, and warmly, that, that they sort of go along with the way you're treating them. It's just like a good people teacher mm. relationship. And we're not going to be our best friends or nothing like that, but they're more involved with us. Like, mm. we can talk to them, I would talk to our friends kind of thing. Treat you as if you're an adult yourself. Because I'm opposite sort of thing, so she can speak to us like differently than they talk to you in year 11. They don't have to be as strict. Or... Let's just say that you come to a lesson that you don't even enjoy. They're pushing off, but they're pushing off too hard. That's why like, <coughs> people start falling out. So everyone just starts, um, they don't actually mm -hmm. talk to each other. Let teachers be this, like, respectful to other students and let them hear them out before they jump to conclusions and stuff like that. Treated us like we were adults. You can talk to you on a different level, and it's just easier to understand people talk to you if, like, as if you're like a person instead of like you're a kid. They don't talk down on you. I think it's important to treat the students as people, not just students. It all goes down to how you treat the students, and they will treat you better. Because she understands us. No, no. She understands what we want to do and what we want. Give it every year a chance, every class a chance to do fun work in city groups. And we all like, interact with the board and, to, and we like, all answer questions with each other. Yeah. They do little quizzes and stuff like that here and there, like group works and stuff like that, so it's not just directly getting on with the work. The teacher makes it funny. Be a little bit off the ball, a little bit wacky. Um, the kids respect me because I'm quite funny and all of those elements combined 
um, really do help. Yeah, it brings a certain atmosphere to the classroom where you yeah, know the teachers are in a good mood. So like when it acts here, yeah, you all like laughing, you enjoy it and stuff. Yeah, so that's why I like it. And they also, they get to know you as a person as well, you know, that it's your job. So a lot of that sort of work is actually delivering lessons that are firstly suitable, secondly accessible and thirdly engaging. Doing more fun things. Bringing a subject from outside of, of the curriculum and kind of, you know, trying to integrate it within the curriculum and maybe even make them think differently. And I think they've warmed to that. I think yes, they really they do. Are, yeah. like, you know what's really millionaire? Like, we could do that, but like maths questions, like fractions, like what's like 10 times, 5 times, whatever, yeah. something like that. So um, that makes them think, yeah, there is, there is a reason for me to be there and I do want to be there now. I want to kind of repay the space someone puts in me. Um, we all play parts in education and um, the students have to learn their part. So the pupils are actually saying that for them attendance is important. They take uh, the attendance uh, very, very oh, seriously. I ask my mum and my dad to wake me up in the morning and then I always set my alarm and put my alarm on my phone as well. If there's people who have a problem just say getting up, then I am known as the wake up call and I will ring people at half past seven in the morning. We encourage them to attend regularly when they're in reception because we feel that that gives them a starting block for the rest of the school. So that's why we do the attendance coffee mornings and I see parents on a one to one, I'll home visit them. We do star charts, um, we've got um, a rocket chart. Nobody was off. So it's all about encouraging children to come into school, really. They'll have their registration certificates there in front of them and we'll say, well, look, you know, we've had a few days off here, a few days off there. OK, your mum and dad have phoned in, but actually it's building up now and we're trying to get them to look at their attendance and try to uh, improve their attendance on their own, give them ownership of their attendance. Because if you win the prizes, then it makes you want to come to school every day. Knowing you're doing well makes you want to come to school more when you know that you're doing so well and you could either improve or keep going at that standard and get more. Your attendance does matter, it, you know, um, it goes towards your exams, what you'd like to do when, when you finish school, and it all counts. Form chair told me that I had 100% attendance. Mm -hmm. I felt very proud, you know. Very, very proud. So, so George Monarch's College, I was looking at some application forms, and they consider 80% attendance as poor. It's down to the student to actually understand that. So where I want to be in life, you have to study to be there. So education is free here, so might as well learn. Do you yes. think you should come to school when you're well. ill? No. When you're ill, just... Come to school now when I'm ill anyway. And then if I am ill, I'll just go home if I'm too bad. The results um, speak for themselves. Those that are uh, turning up 95 to 100% of the time are guaranteed A's and B's. Every child's an individual and every non-school attendance is not the same. The non-school attendance or the truancy is just a symptom of something that's going on in that child's life. When I was in year seven and eight, I used to muck about, like, I di really didn't like school, didn't like writing or nothing. Because my mum wouldn't get up in the mornings. I didn't like school that much because every time I come to school, people start shouting and I'll start getting in trouble every day. When my mum was ill, I never used to want to go to school. I, my dad literally had to fight me to go to school. I used to stay at home, just hated it. There could be very valid reasons. There could be problems at home. There could be avoiding a school because they're getting bored, but we need to find out quickly. The quicker you find something out, the better. And it's not just about that child not wanting to go. There's a whole catalogue of other issues that may be going on. If, if you're not doing this well, you think, oh, Nobody's really kind of supporting me because all the teachers do show a lot of support and encouragement. I talk with them and I make sure that they're going to do something about it. So we look at solutions, what they need to do to not be late the next day. So I think it's best to just talk to somebody, either a teacher, um, a parent or whatnot, and still come to school anyway. Because at the end of the day you're going to be losing out on your education. Everybody around there here to help them to achieve those, uh, you know, those dreams they may have. If I have these kids out there that don't want to come to school, they can try to talk to somebody like who will persuade them to come to school. You never, like, for instance, miss, you've got a problem, you can go and talk to her, isn't it? She can make you come to school. Try to figure out the reason, then you can get it sorted. And I had so long off and not seen everyone for ages. They start to distance themselves from the school, 
distance themselves from their friends. But then, when you come, then you have to catch up. And then I'd come to school and I'd be like, what's going on? And I don't know what I was doing. And then coming back to school was like, I was really happy about it. I think people should come to school to have control over their lives. Because um, I know that it's better for my future. And your attendance does matter. Every lesson counts um, if you want to learn and, and get ahead. Come back to school, take your mind off of things. Being here is uh, going to get them the best grades. It's no good being at home. If I improve not just my attendance but other aspects of other skills as well, it increase my chances to move on to different areas. Making them realise that the only way they will achieve that is by coming to school every day. I said, yeah, now do the work and then you can muck about after university. It's important to come to school because in the long run, you might think, oh yeah, I've got a couple of days off, I could do what I want, I can go to cinemas, I can stay at home and play Xbox all day. But in the long run, it's only your life you're messing up, it's no one else. If you've tried your dream, you know you've tried it. I'd rather you try your dream than rather think about what I could have been.